Hey guys, what's happening? It's B-Side. Today, in my hands, we're gonna be taking a look at the Epiphone SG Muse. Now, a quick little background on the Muse. This was just released at NAM, Winter NAM 2020. And, you know, when I was in the Epiphone booth, checking them out, people were a little underwhelmed by them. And I think the colors kind of throw them. Sometimes you see the wild colors that these come in, and I'll flash those up on the screen. And people just kind of assume it's not gonna be a great guitar. I don't know what it is about that. And I think maybe the color choices, I, I don't know what it was, but really after I've gotten my hands on this guitar, I'm a lot happier with this guitar than I thought I was going to be. When I had it shipped, I was pretty confident I was gonna give you a review that says it's a lackluster guitar and it's not really worth the money. Just buy the regular Epiphone one and save yourself 30 or 40 bucks. But you know what? It really is a cool guitar. It has some really nice features. <laughs> Let's jump into all of the specs and then we'll get some tones and I'll tell you some of my final thoughts. So what we're taking a look at today is the SG Muse. This is in Wanderlust Green Metallic. Like I said earlier, they come in a bunch of different colors including Radio Blue and Purple Passion Metallic. A lot of different choices there for those of you that want a non-standard color. For this guy, the body is made out of mahogany. It's a metallic gloss finish. The neck itself is also made out of mahogany and it has a custom C shape to the neck, that 24.75 inch scale length. The fretboard is Indian Laurel with the traditional Gibson Epiphone inlays in there, which is super cool. The fretboard radius is 12 inches. It has 22 medium jumbo frets. It has a graph tech nut. The nut width is 1.69 inches and it has a set glued in neck. As far as electronics, the neck and the bridge pickup are both Alnico Classic Pros. The controls, we have two volumes, two trebles. The volumes actually have coil splitting in them for each pickup, and we actually have a phase switching as well. So we're gonna check that out. We're gonna see what that sounds like. From there, you have the standard three-way Epiphone toggle switch and the output jack on the side. So let me start this tone test with my most surprising tone out of this guitar as I've been playing with it. I'm normally not a fan of split coil humbuckers. I mean, you're not buying an SG for single coil sounds, but I will tell you the bridge position with the split is actually really surprisingly nice. So this is what that sounds like. There is my most surprising tone. Let's jump in to the rest of them. We're gonna start with the neck pickup. Everything's on all the way up on 10. And let's just see what this sounds like. Pretty nice. Not bad. Go ahead and go to the middle position here. So that's both pickups turned on. Yeah, nice fat rhythm sounds. So let's go ahead and go to the bridge pickup. Now we also want to check out the coil splitting. So each one of these pickups has coil splitting. So let's go ahead, since we're already on the bridge pickup, let's just split that coil so you can hear it. And we're gonna go ahead and go to the neck pickup. And let's remember what that sounded like. Now let's split that. Mm -hmm. 
So there you go. I probably like the split on the bridge a lot better. I think the split on the neck there. Let's just go back and forth. There's the neck without the split. There it is with. I don't know, it just kind of loses something there. So I'm not, I probably would not use that one. But now let's check out this uh, phase also. So we have, this is with it turned off. Let's turn it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. So you can definitely hear that. So I don't know, the phase thing, once again, maybe you hear it and you really like it. I think that the positions that I'm really into is just the standard humbucker pickups. I mean, that's what you're buying an SG4. Although the coil splitting, which I'm not normally a huge fan of, in the bridge actually sounds halfway decent. And then we'll split that. That's a nice, that's actually a pretty nice tone. So that's with the coil splitting off, and we're gonna turn it on. All right, and so you guys didn't all just come here just to hear clean tones on an SG. I have a J Rocket Archer icon on the floor. We're gonna go to the bridge. We're gonna just get a little dirt on it. Yep, that is what an SG is supposed to sound like. Let's go to the neck position. Yep, that sounds pretty good too. All right, staying in the neck position, let's see what a couple kind of lead tones would sound like. Let's go to the bridge and see what that sounds like. Yep. Oh, 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 yep. That is a sweet spot right there. Bridge pickup, overdrive on, oh. Oh. oh, that, yep, that's what an SG should sound like, that's what it should feel like, that's what it should play like. I'm gonna be honest, I was very skeptical about these Muse guitars. I think I was thrown by the colors also, um, but this is a really, really solid guitar. The clear knobs, it has a cool look to it, the, the metallic paint with the inlays in the neck and the clear knobs and kind of the 2020 Epiphone headstock. I mean, it's a great guitar. Probably the only thing I would change on this guitar is the tuning keys. Uh, they're fine, but not great. These are the Epiphone lightweight tuning keys. I think lightweight means inexpensive uh, in Epiphone talk. So, you know, they have the kind of cool design on them, but as far as like when you feel them, you're kind of like, ah, eh, these are a little cheap. So. Let me know what you think about this guitar in the description below. I'm actually really excited that I'm this excited about this guitar. I really thought this review was going to go a different way. And if you enjoyed hanging out for a while, would you consider hitting that subscribe button, maybe the little bell icon to get notified when new videos come out. I'm putting out about two videos a week. 
So come and have a good time talking guitar with me. Love having you around. With that, I'm B-Side, and we'll catch you next time.